Now in this question it is given that let x is equals to 8 root 3 plus 13 to the power of 13 and y is equals to 7 root 2 plus 9 to the power of 9. If greatest integer of t then we have to choose which option is correct. Here the key concept is binomial expansion that is h plus y to the power of n is equals to n c 0 x bar n y bar 0 plus n c 1 x power n minus 1 y power 1 up to n c n x bar 0 y power n now let us consider x which is equals to 8 root 3 plus 13 to the power of 13. This can be expanded as 13 c 0 8 root 3 to the power 13 into 13 to the power of 0 plus 13 c 1 8 root 3 to the power of 12 into 13 to the power of 1 up to 13 c 13 8 root 3 to the power of 0 into 13 to the power 13. Now let us consider x dash as 8 root 3 minus 13 to the power of 13 then we will get alternate plus and minus times that is 13 c 0 8 root 3 to the power of 13 into 13 power 0 minus 13 c 1 8 root 3 to the power of 12 into 13 to the power of 1 plus up to minus 13 c 13 8 root 3 to the power of 0 into 13 to the power of 13. If we subtract these two equation then we will get x minus x dash is equals to 2 times of 13 c 1 8 root 3 to the power 12 into 13 plus 13 c 3 8 root 3 to the power of 10 into 13 cube and goes on. So since x minus x dash is a multiple of 2, the greatest integer that is x is even. Now consider y is equals to 7 root 2 plus 9 to the power of 9 is equals to if we expand this we will get 9c0 7 root 2 to the power of 9 into 9 power 0 plus 9c1 7 root 2 to the power of 8 9 to the power of 1 plus up to 9c9 7 root 2 to the power of 0 into 9 to the power of 9. Now consider y dash is equals to 7 root 2 minus 9 whole power 9. If we expand this, we will get 9 c 0 7 root 2 to the power of 9 into 9 power 0 minus 9 c 1 into 7 root 2 to the power of 8 into 9 power 1 plus up to minus 9 c 9 7 root 2 to the power of 0 
into 9 and power 9. If we subtract this, we will get 9. Y minus Y dash is equals to 2 times of 9 C1 7 root 2 to the power of 8 into 9 plus 9 C3 7 root 2 to the power of 6 into 9 to the power 3 and goes on. Here y minus y bar is a multiple of 2. So the greatest integer y will also be even. Now if we consider the given options, uh, the greatest integer x plus the greatest integer y is even. That is option a is correct. Since the greatest integer x and the greatest integer y is even, their sum will also be even. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you, Bacho.